ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brentheim, and welcome to Witcher 3 Mods. So, if you've been waiting for a mod that sort of does the little sweet FX mod for The Witcher 3, that kind of makes it look more like the 2013 reveal trailer for The Witcher 3, uh, where the graphics maybe looked a little bit better to you, then this is the mod for you. So if you want to see it installed, just let the video play, but if you want to see some gameplay first, you want to see how it looks in-game, go ahead and hit an annotation on the video now to go see that. So there's only going to be one prerequisite to this mod, what, that being WinRAW with the download link in the video description below, and once you've downloaded that, we can actually download the actual mod itself. We're going to be downloading that from nexusmods.com with a download link in the video description below. Once we've done that, we're going to drag it to our desktop or any location that you want, and we're just going to open up the zip file. Once we've done that, we're going to open up our Witcher 3 main directory. If you don't know where that is, I'm going to show you the following places. So, if you're on GOG or good old games, then it's this PC, C Drive, GOG Games, Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. If you're on Steam, then you're going to go to this PC, C Drive, Program Files x86, use this search bar here, or scroll down alphabetically to find Steam. Once you're in Steam, so mine's a custom installation on my D drive, so I have to go to that. What's in the Steam folder? Go into Steam Apps, Common, and look for Witcher 3 using the search bar up here or scrolling down. So, once we've done that, once we're in the Witcher 3 folder, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that back up. We're going to go into the content, or the not the content, the bin folder, then the x64 folder, and then we're going to drag the R folder over here and the WinRAR archive over here. We're then going to drag all three of these folders into this folder here. And now we're done. If you're on Steam, you might ask you for administrative permission. You can hit the chat box that says do this for all current items, and then hit continue. We did not have to for the... Um, the case of grand, good old games so once we've got that done we can actually just go ahead and launch the witcher 3 like we would normally so ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys in game so once in game ladies and gentlemen you can already tell the game does look entirely different uh, a, a different filter has been applied it's a sweet fx thing that has been applied to many pc games um, so once we have uh, the game open we can just hit escape and we're going to change the recommended settings to make this look at its best we're going to go to our options then our video and let's start with post-processing. You're going to want to turn anti-aliasing off, as that's what the recommended post-processing settings are. You're going to want to turn sharpening to at least or to at least low, but high if you can. Um, chromatic uh, aberration. You're going to want to turn off. So I have that off now. Um, we're going to want to turn the uh, vignetti, vignetting. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. We're going to turn that off as well. Uh, Sun shafts should be on, uh, off if you want to see more of the sky. Um, yeah, that should uh, that should do most of it. We're gonna. I don't see gamma. This thing's asking or saying that I should have a gamma setting somewhere in here, but I'm not. I'm not seeing it. So we're just gonna leave it uh, like these. So this is the recommended settings. I'm gonna hit escape, hit escape, hit escape, and this is what The Witcher looks like with the sweet effects mod enabled. So I'm just going to do a little bit of walking around, sort of letting you look at some of the textures. I'm going to zoom in on some. Trying to get as close as I can. We'll also look at a couple characters. So let's see if we can get a conversation. I'm going to go ahead and start this quest. To repeat that slander to my face. Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. So as you can see, the faces are still extremely detailed as they were in the actual uh, non-enabled uh, game, so the vanilla game. So let's go ahead and look at this texture here. 
So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to download the Sweet Effects mod, you can hit your player back and you can go to the installation guide. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not like the mod, you can go ahead and dislike the video. But if you do like the mod, please hit a like on the video. It really does help. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready for more Witcher 3 mods, go ahead and subscribe to my Witcher 3 mods channel. And I'll do the rest. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been Bruntime. See you guys in the next one.